It is one of Earth's last remaining frontiers. Antarctica is vast, largely unexplored, and home to extraordinary creatures. Most of the southern ocean that surrounds Antarctica is free from territorial claims, which means what's allowed to take place there takes complicated international agreement. In Hobart, that's exactly what 24 countries, plus as a bloc, the European Union, are trying to achieve. Negotiators are considering proposals that would declare swathes of Antarctic seas marine protected areas. If adopted, there'd be fishing bans or restrictions for millions of square kilometres of ocean and ice. It's a significant component of uh, global ecosystems. The Southern Ocean makes an enormous contribution to global processes. It's probably the most significant ecosystem on Earth, terrestrial or marine. Um, and there's an, a need to provide protection from that. Negotiations will be tough. Some countries want smaller areas protected with less restrictions than others. Some are wary of setting precedents. The environment movement actually feels that that's a very good thing, that if we want to protect more of the high seas, and there is only about 1% of the world's oceans are currently protected, uh, that if we get a precedent, then uh, it shows the world what can be done. If agreement can be reached, it's creatures like these toothfish that stand to benefit. Remarkable animals with a form of antifreeze in their blood, theirs is also a prized and expensive meat. Fishing bans would also allow scientists to monitor the effects of climate change on ecosystems without the complicating factor of humans taking animals from the sea. Whaling, though, would not be covered. That falls under different treaties. Nor would marine protected areas affect any future proposals to mine below the ocean floor. All 25 delegations here in Hobart need to agree for any deal to stick. That's going to be tough, but environmental campaigners say it's vital. Years of background talks have led up to this meeting. Missed this opportunity and lost perhaps forever will be the chance to protect parts of Antarctica as pristine wilderness. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Hobart.